Hey everybody, Tommy Jordan here. This is a Moza Mini Me Gimbal. I really like this thing a lot. So far I've been super impressed. And it has eight follow modes, which I think are really cool. My favorite mode being the all follow mode, that it can do things that I haven't seen any other gimbal do yet, including my smooth cue. Let me show you. Now to get to the all follow mode first, I have to get through all the other modes. Let me explain to you. By default, when you turn it on, it's at the y'all. The second mode is called the y'all and pitch mode. To get to that, I'm gonna hit it three times. One, two, three. And now, I'm at the y'all and pitch. Let's say I wanna do a roll, so where I can turn it. Right now, if I go a roll, it goes to vertical mode, which is fine if you need vertical. But what if I didn't want it to do that? What if I wanted to be able to do the pitch, to look up and down, and to do the y'all, and to do the roll? To do that, I'm gonna hit this left button and hold it down for two seconds. One, two, it blinks, and now I can control my roll. So with this all follow mode, I can do things, I can take shots that are exceptionally tubular. The Smooth Q cannot do what I'm doing right now. Watch this, I'll go ahead and pan it up. And now, you're able to get the banks on the speedboat and looking down over the water, and you can spin it around and get some super cool shots. To get out of the all follow mode, you have to follow a sequence of steps by holding the left button for two seconds. That turns off the roll. And now that the roll is off, I'm back to my pitch and yaw mode. To get to the pitch, I'm gonna hit it two times. One, two, and now I'm at the pitch. So now I can control the pitch, but the yaw doesn't change. The yaw doesn't, doesn't change. It stays in that direction. I can only control the pitch. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the default mode. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I had to hit it twice. And now I'm back into the default mode where I can control the y'all. Watch this. I just think it's so cool. It's set in that particular pitch. But let's say I want to go pitch this way. I can do that. And now watch. It keeps looking up. This is kind of like your cheater's inception mode without using the inception mode button. To get to inception mode, I'm going to hit the top button three times. One, two, three. And now it's in inception mode. So this is actually inception mode. I can have it look down, but here's why inception mode is really cool. I can turn it around as it looks up. Let's go back down and look this way though. Okay, and watch this. Now I'm looking forward, same thing. You can get those vertical shots with inception mode. To get out of the inception mode, just hit the top button three times. One, two, three, and I'm out of the inception mode. I'm back to the default y'all. I absolutely love this game. This thing is a lot of fun guys. If you buy it, you will be playing with it for hours. <laughs> and you'll have reasons to go out. You'll be at a party. Let me get my gimbal. I gotta take some video. I gotta take some video. You will look for reasons to take video. Uh, the stand's pretty nice too. I do like the, the stand. But that's still not all guys. Check this out. Here's what else it can do. Let's say I want to have it set at a particular position. Okay, I'm gonna hit it two times. One, two. The buttons turn off and now you'll notice it's locked in that position and no matter where I turn my gimbal except for vertical if you want to get that sunset um, the gimbal stays locked no matter where you are if I want to do a selfie mode just hold it the button three times on the bottom one two three and now I'm at selfie mode hi there hey there I'm at selfie right now Get out of, to get out of the selfie mode, just hit, hit the bottom two times. One, two. And now I'm back. Let's say I'm at a game. I'm at a football game and they're going really fast. The football's flying across and I gotta get that shot. And I wanna be able to catch the movements of their plays. I have to speed up, I can speed up the gimbal too and turn into what I call hyper mode. Hit this button two times, one, two. And now it's in hyper mode. They'll go real fast. 
In hyper mode, you're increasing the power to your three axis points and allowing it to be even more responsive to your movements. Go ahead and turn it off, one, two. In hyper mode, it will use more power as well. It has different thread points here, top and the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a thread in, and this is a double quarter inch thread. Screw it on the top. Like that. This is a zoom microphone. Screw that into the top. Okay. And now, so I've got my zoom in, and you'll notice here it's not gonna be perfectly balanced. It's gonna be kind of hard because my zoom is kind of large. And let me go ahead and put the zoom face in that direction. And uh, so I'll go ahead and turn it back on. And there you go. And so now I can videotape with my microphone attached. This is the y'all follow mode, the default mode, and it's the mode that I recommend using if you're gonna do this kind of a setup. But it works really well. It works very well in keeping that video. And again, I can adjust the uh, camera to look up or down with the microphone on top. It can support up to 300 grams. Now you can also use the stand if you want to. Right now I'm using, this is just a regular stand I used. But uh, depending upon how you want to set up this, does, you have to admit this looks really cool, doesn't it? And you can control it up or down, left, right, and so on. And it just gives you another way to control your gimbal. Isn't that cool? So this is another option. Uh, you would have to buy a larger stand, as you see. You would have to buy a larger tripod along with a stand to be able to support this kind of format. But there's another option too. Good. This is a tripod with an extension. And so now this allows me to extend it even more. I can extend even longer and make it even bigger. Pretty cool. Anyway guys, so this is the Moza Mini Me. I have to tell you, I have been super impressed with this thing. I use it all the time. Now if at any point you're using it and you get a little carried away with the use of it and the gimbal gets out of whack, just hit the pause button and it's unlocked and just take it and reset it back to wherever you want to go. So it's right back and now I just hit back and boom, and there it is. So if that happens, if you're ever you're doing anything, uh, I think where this happens the most is when you just get carried away and you stress the uh, gimbal more than it really can. But as you can see here, that's pretty impressive. That's really, really good. This is my go-to gimbal. It is what I use now all the time. Uh, I also like the case. This case is big enough that you can actually hold other things. So for example, I've got my little tripod. I can put this in here. I can add this little part here to it. And even my micro, even my microphone. I can put that right in there if I want to. So it holds all this stuff. You just take it and close it up. There you go. Easy. I can control the speed of how fast it turns. Super slow. Okay, we're super slow. I can turn real slow. Isn't that cool? And I can make it go fast. And I can slow it down to almost a crawl. See, it's almost like a Oh, even slower than that. I can make it turn real slow. Isn't that cool? And I, can, and I can have it look down while it's turning at the same time. And look up while I'm turning. It really gives you all kinds of options. And then the fact that you can actually sync this with your phone, with an app on your phone to take that video, allowing you to use the recording button. And there's so many more features. Right now for this video, guys, I'm just showing you the features of the gimbal itself. But stick around, I'm gonna have a second video where I'll go over the features of the gimbal, of the gimbal, along with the cell phone app and how that is and how you can use that. But super nice gimbal, really impressed. I'm Tommy John. I got the record links for this thing below. It's about hundred dollars right now. For hundred dollars, you can't beat it. I mean, a gimbal for hundred bucks? It's a no-brainer, guys. It's not should you buy it, it's why wouldn't you buy it? And the versatility and what this thing can offer, what it does, it's a no-brainer. Go ahead and pick it up. Got direct links for you below. I absolutely love this gimbal, and I I'm, I can't say how happy I am to have this thing. I love it. Totally recommend it to you guys. I'm Tom Jaren. Talk to you next time.